And joining us now on This Is The Day is Martin Dobelmeyer, who is an American documentary filmmaker, founder of Journey Films, films including Bonhoeffer and American Ch Conscience and Backs Against the Wall. And today he's going to be talking about his most recent production called Revolution of the Heart, the Dorothy Day story, which I'm holding right in my hand here. And uh, thank you so much for being with us. That's nice to be back. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. So uh, Dorothy Day, popular in so many walks of life. Uh, talk about what made you decide to make this film. Well, I, I think uh, we're, we're in the process of making, as you mentioned, a series of documentary films about what we think are prophetic voices, really the key religion figures of the 20th century. Uh, people who lived in their own times, facing the political and social issues of their own day, and people who did that in such a way that they continue to resonate for us today. And so when we were looking at the roster of people that we were considering uh, for us, Dorothy Day was always at the top of the list. Okay. I, I think she's one of the most courageous and inspiring women of the 20th century. Whether you put her only in the category of r a religious woman yeah. or not, she was one of the most courageous and inspiring women of the 20th century who's continuing whose life really continues to speak to us now. Yeah. And pretty much an open book. She, she wasn't afraid to tell people <laughs> about her flaws, didn't want to be called a saint as well. Um, talk about that, I if you could, too, and, and that part of her, her appeal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she famously, that, you know, by the time she was in her uh, 60s and 70s, people were already saying, oh, you're going to be a saint, yeah. you're going to be a saint. A and she smartly responded by saying that, uh, don't call me a saint. I don't want to be dismissed that easily, mm -hmm. as if saints had no relevance in the world. Uh, but now there is, of course, a movement now 40 years after her passing to actually have her canonized as an American yeah. saint. We yeah. need, personally, I think we need more American saints. Yeah. I yeah. think that she's a wonderful example of an inner city uh, project that began and then blossomed. And if, if it's really true that uh, God will give you the resources that you need to serve the way you need to serve, uh, it's clear with the growth of the Catholic worker houses that she began yes. back in yeah, 1933 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that she was really at the right place at the right time. Yeah. And she had a... I guess sort of a radical hospitality at times too, um, but talk about that if you could, maybe some of the things that you learned or, or while you're researching the film too about this uh, amazing woman. Well, one of the things I like about her a lot is that she didn't invent the, the notion, it's a, a sort of a philosophical notion, but she, she really lived out of a notion of personalism. Uh, the notion that you shouldn't be waiting around for the government or social programs to step in and take care of the need that you right. see around you. You're called as a matter of faith to do it yourself. And I think that's th one of the most empowering notions I've ever thought of because I speak a lot on college campuses with young people and they can sometimes become very discouraged by what they see are these massive institutionalized problems that we have in this country. How mm -hmm. are you going to change yeah. systems? And so you become discouraged and the discouragement leads to sort of disenfranchising yourself from everything. Dorothy Day said, no, we all have to take a different path. We all have to decide that this is what God is calling me. I may not be able to change everything that's going on in America, but I can fix a problem right here in front of me, right now, at this moment. And that's what she meant by the personalist philosophy. And I think in some ways that's so liberating and empowering uh, that you can't turn away from that. Yeah, yeah. I know you're doing screenings of the film ar around as well, and there's some great resources as well with this film. Could you talk about that? Yeah, we work really hard. The film is one hour. It'll air nationally on public television beginning in March for Women's History Month, and we're excited about that. Um, but in addition to the one-hour film, we compile a lot of material, you know, all these interviews that we did, yeah. all the resources that we've been able to find, and we make them available freely to everybody on our website, Journey Films, J-O-U-R-N-E-Y-F-I-L-M-S dot com. And uh, if you're working in a congregation, if you want Lenten material, if you, if you teach at a seminary or a, in, a, in a college and you want to be able to teach Dorothy Day, or a lot of the different worlds that Dorothy Day intersected with, so for example, Catholic social teaching mm -hmm. and things like that, uh, the resources are there for you to be able to do that. Yeah. And you do uh, religious films, spiritual, faith-based uh, documentary films too. Talk about why those <laughs> are needed, uh, yeah. you know, films like uh, on Dorothy Day yeah. and why that's uh, such an important uh, aspect of filmmaking that uh, people mm. have an opportunity to see mm. in this day and age. Well, uh, you know, I went to Boston University for my graduate work and uh, I came out of that and I worked for a commercial television station, WBZ, oh. in Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when I decided to leave WBZ and get into that sort of religion thing that yeah. I wasn't going to be doing, they all kept saying, well, you're going to be, you're going to run out of ideas in about six months. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are now, 35 years later, and when there's no shortage of ideas, we, we still continue to find ideas that we think are, are really worth telling. So that's, that's the direction that I've set my life in over these last now three and a half decades. And I, and I, think, it's, I think it's a way to be able to take the communication tools that we have uh, at this moment in time uh, and to be able to use it to tell stories that are timeless. 
and that's fundamentally what we want to do. I mean, in, in some ways, it is narrative theology that we're working with, but we do it in such a way that it becomes very personal. Yeah. A and I think that can continue to inspire people and, and give people a new look at how they can live their own lives. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Martin, for being with us in this uh, new documentary, Revolution of the Heart, the Dorothy Day story. Once again, peace, uh, if people are interested in this or some of the other films, where would they go? Uh, they'd go to journeyfilms.com. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you so much, Martin, for Thank being you. with us.